apply norton's theorem to calculate the current flowing through 5 ohm resistor of figure we have to calculate current flowing through this 5 ohm resistance using norton's theorem solution let's say this is terminal a and this is terminal b so between terminal a and b rl is equal to 5 ohm for norton's equivalent circuit we have to find rn that is norton's resistance and in that is norton's current so first we will find norton's resistance that is rn so to find rn we have to turn off all the independent sources and remove this rl So first we will remove this RL and between terminal A and B this will be our RN. And we have to turn off this independent voltage source. Now when we turn off independent voltage source that time it will be short circuited. So this will be short circuited. Now we have to calculate this RN. So here we can see this 12 ohm and this 6 ohm are connected in parallel. So 12 ohm parallel with 6 ohm. So this will be 12 into 6 divided by 12 plus 6. 12 into 6 divided by 12 plus 6. So it is 4 ohm. So we can replace these two resistors with single 4 ohm resistor so this will be of 4 ohm now here we can see this 10 ohm and 4 ohm are connected in series so this will be 14 ohm so 14 ohm now it is in parallel with this 5 ohm so this will be 14 into 5 divided by 14 plus 5. So therefore Rn is equal to 14 into 5 divided by 14 plus 5. So it is 3.68. 3.68 ohm is the value for Rn. Now next we have to find I n. So to find to find I n, we have to remove this R L first. So first we will remove this R L. Then we have to short circuit the terminal A and B. That is we have to short circuit R L. Now the current is I n. So if we have to find this current and this will be our I n that is Norton's current. Now here we can see this 10 ohm is in series with 12 ohm parallel with 6 ohm and it is short circuited from here to here this hole is short circuited. So its value will be 0. So we can remove these resistors. So it will be like this. Now we can simplify this IN by using Ohm's law. IN is equal to V by R. Now V here is 30 volt and R is 5 Ohm. So therefore IN is equal to 30 divided by 5 is 6 Ampere. So 6 Ampere is the value for IN. Now we have the value for IN, RN and RL. So from this we can draw Norton's equivalent circuit. So for Norton's equivalent circuit this will be IN and parallel to IN this will be RN and parallel to RN this will be our RL. 
दिस इज आर एल दिस इज आर एन एंड दिस इज आई एन द वैल्यू फॉर आई एन इज सिक्स एम्पियर द वैल्यू फॉर आर एन इज थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स एट ओ होम थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स एट ओ होम एंड द वैल्यू फॉर आर एल इज फाइव ओ होम नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड करंट थ्रू दिस फाइव होम सो दिस विल बी आई एल दिस इज कॉल्ड नॉरटन्स इक्विवेलेंट सर्किट नाउ हेयर अगेन वी कैन यूज करंट डिविजन रूल सो बाय यूजिंग करंट डिविजन रूल आई एल इज इक्वल टू दिस करंट दैट इज सिक्स एम्पियर मल्टीप्लाइड बाय अपोजिट ब्रांच रेजिस्टेंस दैट इज थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स एट डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स एट प्लस फाइव थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स एट प्लस फाइव सो दिस इज द करंट डिविजन रूल सो दिस विल बी सिक्स इन टू सिक्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स एट डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स एट प्लस फाइव सो इट इज टू पॉइंट फाइव फोर टू पॉइंट फाइव फोर एम्पियर दिस इज द वैल्यू फॉर आई एल सो दे आर फोर आई एल इज इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट फाइव फोर एम्पियर सो वॉट वी हैव टू फाइंड वी हैव टू फाइंड apply norton's theorem to calculate the current flowing through 5 ohm resistor of figure so we have to find 5 ohm resistance current so therefore the current through this 5 ohm resistor is 2.54 ampere so this is our final answer